Hello everyone, this is Pascal, Victor Alpha 2, Papa Victor. Uh, today I will be giving you an update about uh, our project uh, of LaboEnLink.ca. We actually had a few uh, updates to share with you. Two weeks ago we received a batch of uh, DV4 mini units uh, for uh, the member of our group and we did make some experiment uh, and brought uh, together uh, two uh, network like the DV4 mini network on the reflector and the WireX network and make it work together so we will explain that a little bit later on we will also uh, give you some news and answer some questions that we receive frequently from our uh, viewers and subscribers once again, uh, if you want to uh, help us and contribute, the first thing is to uh, to share and to uh, subscribe to uh, our YouTube uh, channel. We work in the past few weeks on a new uh, website. We actually uh, built a new website using a CMS, a content management uh, system, uh, which will help will which will help us, uh, sorry about that, <laughs> which will help us uh, to update the site uh, more easily. And we also decided to uh, put the site in English so uh, it will be available to everyone to understand uh, internationally uh, as our subscribers are spread uh, across the, the globe. So if your main language is uh, another language, uh, you can use Google Translator uh, to translate the site. Uh, it worked pretty well. You will, you will also find on the, on, on the main page uh, two videos about the project, the introduction uh, in French and in English. And we're very proud of our, about our new website and the new uh, quotes that we, uh, we put in with LaboEnLink.ca, which is Digital Communications, The New Horizon. It actually came up to us uh, when we put that pictures online. This picture was taken by one of our group, uh, which is uh, Jean-Francois, Victor Alpha 2, uh, Sierra Sierra in 2004 on the top of a mountain here in Quebec and he was with a group of amateurs uh, located in Sherbrooke, Quebec. And this picture is very nice thanks to him for sharing and let us use it on our website. And this picture uh, shows the horizon and we, that gave us the, uh, re uh, the idea of the, uh, the quotes that we uh, put in here. Also, you will find there's a link on our Facebook, Twitter, Google Plus, and YouTube channel. So please subscribe to all of them. Like I said, is the, the best way to contribute. Um, our project, uh, it's a little bit, take a little while because uh, it needs to update from YouTube all our uh, thumbs that you have here uh, from our video. Uh, in this page, you will find all updates about our project. Um, here you have uh, our C4FM uh, network. We will talk later on how we brought together both world, the WireX network and the DV4 mini network. Uh, there's some concern about doing that, so we will share it later on. And you will find here also information about our infrastructure. You will see here that we have um, a new server that was donated to us which is a uh, Dell PowerEdge uh, 2950 with six hour drive, completely redundant with uh, dual power supply, uh, redundant as well. Uh, we also bought some UPS, uh, two UPS to uh, all, the, all the network and the telecommunication. We also add a donator for give us some Cisco routers and uh, so we can use and we have uh, a supply a link here for a business class a 200 megabit uh, internet access with uh, slash 29 IP blocks we actually have eight IPs but five that we can use on our side uh, for those knowing IPs you will understand what I mean and you also have uh, unlimited uh, gigabyte uh, usage Sure, we can host the, our server, our website uh, in the cloud environment, but we prefer to have our server locally, so it's giving us uh, the ability to uh, work on the on, on the uh, on the equipment as well as uh, having more flexibility. If we want to do some streaming locally or whatever project we will want, we have access to the uh, the uh, the equipment. 
the DV4 Mini experiment, uh, I did put a, a DV4 Mini installation uh, procedure uh, giving you also the information where to get your DMR ID to put in the software to make it work because if you don't have it, it won't work. So you need that for all the modes. So you have a step-by-step -step procedure to guide you through and you also have the reflector you can go to monitor yourself uh, to see if you're there and it's working. We also have here, uh, in some page, uh, a, a reply uh, or a post that you can use. So you'll be able to comment or ask questions directly. And for now on, please use our contact form to contact us. Uh, easier than email because managing an email server is, uh, can get complicated sometimes. So, you know, we decided to uh, put a contact form. We also have a login for the CMS uh, platform. For now, it's not available to all, but in the near future, you'll be able to subscribe and be able to uh, use it when you come to the site and do the comments. And we are figuring out how we're going to manage the account and which type of account for which type of user. So we'll be back to you. And But this will give us the ability to all uh, our contributors to, uh, to edit, edit and uh, post some uh, new uh, information. So this should be a more dynamic uh, site than it used to be. You also find our mission. Uh, this was written last year, and uh, it's actually like we said, we're not a club. We just uh, wanted to uh, just put out some uh, little rules so everything will be in harmony uh, as we grow. So that's about the new website. So let's go back to the project. Okay, you will see in the project here. Also, uh, you have uh, that. There's one question we have frequently is that the image that we post in September does not fit on a gig card. It does fit on an 8 gig card. You only need to format it with the um, uh, a low level format. Or if you have a brand new card, it will work. If you have an old card, you need to format it uh, some other way or find a tool. But I found an easy way that I put it. I, I put the answer on, on the website here. Uh, an easy way to do it is put it in our, your radio and format uh, the card. Or you can use your camera. Uh, my ID31 works well for me. And uh, my ICOM ID31 works well for me. As well as my Canon camera, my T5i. So this is uh, uh, the information. Also, the software on the image, uh, the DV4 Mini software is not up to date. You need to update it manually. You need to make sure that the right um, and you go in properties on all the file that you replaced that you have uh, giving access to anyone to it to execute it. Unless other than that, it won't work. And you, all, you still have the instruction how to set up the image. We're actually working on new image. Uh, Jean-Francois VA2SS is working on one on the uh, former uh, Raspberry Pi, the older model, the Model B, not the Pi 2. And uh, I will show you what he did as well. Uh, if you go back in the project page and you will see is he did put in the uh, DV4 Mini. Uh, it fits in the HAP Air hotspot which include batteries and everything. So it's a very, very, very nice setup. So uh, for those who have those and using the DVAP D-Star in it, uh, you can make it work with your uh, DV4 Mini uh, sticks. So that's good news. Also for our US viewers, uh, there is um, a licensed manufacturer for the US market uh, that will be producing, well, actually producing right now the DV4 Mini. It will be available in November. So please take notes of that site, Wireless Holding, and you can follow them up and uh, you'll know when it's available. Okay, so and, and the link is on our, uh, our website as well. So let's start with the labwanling.ca C4FM infrastructure. Uh, this is what we test the past uh, two weeks. So, uh, and we will show you what we did and what we discover about it, okay? So I will go on here so I can edit that uh, drawing. And you see here, both world together. And you see here my station. Hold on a second. I'll just switch the color. OK. I'm not very used to it with a pen. So here you have my station with my DV4 Mini. OK. What we test, I do connect to the reflector air 
And we have the other station, which is holding the room, which is Jean-Francois uh, VA2SS uh, QTH. And connected is the DV4 Mini in the same room. On the other hand, he put the DV4 Mini on the same frequency as his FTM 400, which is uh, hosting the room for the group, Fusion Quebec group. So I was able to connect into Fusion Quebec group and I was able to hear myself on my own repeater here locally, back and forth. So this brought a concern. If everybody, if Jean-Francois here, well, he is actually holding the link between the, the, the two network, or uh, Eric here, or anyone using the DV4 Mini, do the same thing as, as GF uh, did here on the uh, room server, uh, you can get a loop and this loop you will hear yourself okay so that's the first concern to prevent that the thing we need to do that so for now on the the the, the, the two network are not connected together okay uh, so you need we are still on port 50 on the reflector and on the fusion uh, quebec group but they're not talking you will not hear yourself between both okay for that reason but in the future as you know, you, we have a repeater in AMS mode, that's meaning dual mode, FM and analog. Just generate a tails in the, in the room here. But we only have one repeater in that situation for now, so it's not too bad. But that will give us some complication working with the uh, DV4 Mini, because when we come in here to go there, we can have some hundreds to 200 milliseconds of delay. This is caused because this reflector is hosted in Germany. So the traffic goes like this. We go from Canada to my DV4 Mini, through my DV4 Mini to Germany, back from Germany to the DV4 Mini located in Canada again at uh, the VA2RN nod, and then on the nod air back to the internet to the Fusion Quebec group. So this induce a delay and this delay would combine okay this delay uh, sorry this delay combined with an analog repeater with the tail make it almost impossible to get in for the dv4 mini user when they are actually having a qso in this room if there's no qso it's okay but if there's a qso the delay and if you're working as an hotspot like I do on my cell phone, you still have a delay. You need to increase the buffer delay. So it's impossible to get between communication. Even people leaving normal uh, delay between transmission, it's impossible to get there. So this is a, a, a bug uh, that uh, it make it hard to bridge the world together. So we have the loops and we have the possibility of the delay making it almost impossible to communicate. Also, we test the function, DX function, the button on your radio on my FT and, uh, FT1DR is able to connect to WireX like I, if I was local. So I'm able to download the room and all the information. So that feature is working very well. Everything's working as locally, like I said. The only problem is the delay when there's actually a QSO, okay? So to solve this, but first of all, sorry about that. Let's show you how we found that our traffic were going back and forth to Germany. We were pretty convinced in, in, in the beginning, but we did uh, what I did actually is install Wireshark. It's a software that enables you to sniff uh, your network and to see where the traffic is going to. What you, what you have here is my internal IP. Hold on a second. Okay, my internal IP is uh, 118. This is a uh, private address on my local network here, the destination, and you have the uh, source. Okay, so you can see here is the source is coming from that address to this address. This I monitor when I was sniffing my network. I had the DV4 Mini open and I was monitoring a QSO going on with Jean-Pierre VA2 Kilo Kilo and a V3 station from Ontario. And actually what I look is 
and I did also when I transmitted. So it's just the source and destination switching together. Okay, so that is actually uh, what we call in uh, networking is RTP port, real time protocol port. It's using UDP as voice uh, as usual, and it's dynamic port attribute uh, using for communication. Okay, so. Those RTP port, what you show here is all the traffic is going to this address. And this address, if you verify, okay, you will see that this address, it's actually the reflector directly. So all the communication go through this reflector, which is hosted in Germany because we did a lookup on this address and it's located in Germany. That normal because it was uh, programmed there. The, only, the other uh, IP address that we see that uh, seems to be used for registration of the users is actually this IP address. You will find this address in your configuration file of the DV4 Mini. Okay, so this is actually the master uh, behind all this for uh, the DV4 Mini. Okay, so this confirms the uh, situation with the traffic. So in November, well, actually, sorry, in October, Yezu announced a new firmware release that will be released in, in November. Uh, so this will be supported. It will be able to do a link directly with a remote FTM 400 and go in digital into the YRX network. So as you know, if you saw my uh, previous video, the DR1X is working directly with the HRI uh, 200 to the uh, um, to the wirex network but you need to put the software in analog so it's not fully digital even if here it's only digital uh it's still uh, converted to a pcm probably uh for your sound card card to decode and encode it to the repeater okay so the new release of the firmware will make it possible to do a link with the ftm 400 so what would we do as uh, most of our repeater are linked together like this, what we're going to do is we're actually going to put the room here in close mode. Okay. If you look in your WireX manual, you will find that in close mode, uh, only uh, pre-authorized uh, nod can connect to that room. So that will prevent, okay, any station to connect without asking permission. So we will be able to inform there if they have a DV4 mini, to not put them on the same frequency and do not create a loop. Okay, so that will be the first protection that is essential to make both well work correctly together. Another thing is we will be able to do a link in digital with uh, uh, AMS repeater and only uh, digital communication will go through. So that will make the tail disappear because the tail and the delay on the air make it uh, increase the uh, complexity of making work uh, together. Okay, so that's the first step. The second step, and we already asked our friends in Germany to have our own reflector here in Canada. So that will uh, increase the performance of the network and then we will have less delay and it will make it work very well together it's gonna work it's gonna work well so hotspots gonna be able to connect to our network we will have all the best of both world uh, for those interested we also sniff in the past uh, the 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 wirex network the difference between the dv4 mini network and the wirex network is that the wirex network uh, even if their server is in Japan, the only thing it does is actually working uh, like a DNS server. It's giving you the address, the IP address of the other station so you can communicate together uh, without uh, directly. So this is very efficient. So this is another way to do things. And, uh, but the, 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 the actually voice traffic is uh, directly uh, between stations. So that's about uh, it about the explanation uh, on that so from then so that answers uh, a few questions and we will do a demonstration to, uh, on that when the firmware is available in November uh, we will be uh, showing that to you so uh, so stay tuned watch our videos and uh, I would like to wish you my best 70 trees <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.